Alright. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> Good morning guys, my name is Amanda. My name is Emily. And today we are going to the Miami International Boat Show 2020. We are here with Take Me Fishing, which is an awesome company we've done some work with before. They've got some cool slogans with our, with our shirts. This year they have new slogans. New slogans. So one is, the water's open. The water's open. And I have, let's make waves. So like the water's open is basically their slogan saying that the water is open to literally everybody. It doesn't have to be, um, only for charter captains, it can be for females, men, families, kids, first timers, first -timers everybody. anybody. The water is open, guys, literally. For the everyone. Highway. They just, just get on it. Just get outside. Yeah. And Let's Make Waves is also their new one. It used to be I Make Waves, but now it's Let's Make Waves. Let's all do it together. So, welcome to our channel. Alright guys, so we're on this 39 Sea Hunter today. We have Deidre and Natalie with us. Hey guys! What's up, so we're super excited to go catch some sailfish. Yeah. Let's do it! Here, trade. The water is open, guys. As we 
you try not to crash into all these people. <laughs> Which is a 65 Hatteras. I don't know if you guys have heard of Fish Tank, but it's a very, very famous tournament boat. They do some really cool fishing in Costa Rica, and they're a great team. Um, we had a chance to come check out Hatteras and show you guys around the fish tank. So over here's the cockpit. This is, yes, so there's no rocket launcher yet. It's still in the process of being built. And they chose not to do fish boxes in the floor because they do a ton of sail fishing and they don't really kill fish, so that's what they chose to do. It's their boat, they can do what they want. Wanna go inside? Yeah, let's go inside. So as you may notice, the cool thing about this boat is the interior is very modern, which is a new thing for Hatteras. A lot of sport fishes are typically all teak, but this one is not. It's a lot of gray. This door behind you is actually painted. It's faux really painted. painted. We'll show you guys really the, cool. door. Check out the door. And all the wood in here, this is all real wood. So, just a new color look. Over here, they added a bar, which is new too. A lot of people don't have that, so it's kind of steps up. Yep, we got some bar seats right here. Cool, something really cool. Guys, look at this. Yes. A skull. A skull on, <laughs> on the, the table. table. So that's definitely, maybe not for everybody, I think. Um, yeah. I really personally like the whole look of the modern feel. It's new, it's different. They also added a steam oven instead of a microwave. Um, I know how to steam vegetables in a steamer, but I don't know how you use it instead of a microwave. I think it's cool, but we'll go check it downstairs. So this room here, this is their tackle room. We've got tons of storage here. Down here. They're gonna put up in here, store a bunch. There we go. Um, you can also put up, this can also be a bed too, which is nice. This is the first head. I guess Let's look at the, the toilet. And we got a sink, shower. Hey, that's me. <laughs> Over here is the master. You guys wanna check it out? The master, got nightstands on either side. Nice and big, lots of closets. Room. I believe the this master has its the own bathroom. bathroom. And closet. dresser. Closet. And a closet. Yeah. Alright, I think we have one more room. Two more rooms. Two more We're rooms. Okay. We have a bunk bed room here. One top bunk and a bottom bunk. And we have another bunk bedroom all I will show the way you. up in the bow. All the way up here in the V berth, we have. Where's the light? This is another bunk bedroom, one bed, another bed. And I was told that if they wanted to, they could remove this storage and put a third bed in here. So yeah, it's guys. A 65 foot, so. Lots of 65 space. foot Hatteras. Here's another bathroom. So I believe this has three bathrooms, I right, it Amanda? Has three, three bathrooms, and there's a door right there. I'm not sure what that opens up. Let's to. find out. Let's see what this door is. I bet you it's storage. Oh, it's a closet or storage. Storage, yeah. Whatever you want to make it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's go back up. All right, that is the interior of Fish Tank. Really cool boat. The bridge is closed. Can't really show it to you guys right now, but I just thought it was super cool and thought you guys would like to see it. We are on the Intrepid boats. We are over by their wet slips. Um, this is their 32-7 open model. It's similar to ours. The only difference is ours has a cutty on the front and forward L seating, so we don't have the open, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's the same size and the same hull. So we'll show you around. They have some cool changes, some updates. Our boat is a 2005, so it's a, definitely a little bit older than these new 2020 models, but we'll show you guys what they have to offer. This is the helm. It's got two bucket seats. See the bucket seats? One bucket seat, two bucket seats. Our boat has a bench seat instead of a bucket seat. Pros and cons of both. 
I actually like this one that, you know, you can kind of still fit a third person in here. Something really cool that Intrepid did is they didn't want any sharp squares. They wanted some smooth, they want all smooth angles. It's just like up here, how the glass and the helm, it wraps nice and smooth and it's not cut. They have this live well down here. The live well in under the seat, it's all smooth angles, nothing sharp, which is actually really cool and something they really focused on doing. It takes extra time, extra work, but it's just something that gives the boat such a nice sleek look. Something I know the Intrepid really likes. I love that it's like a little fish tank on your boat. Don't it's you like tank. that? Yes. Yes. Because our boat also too. has a, a custom live well in the back that, that was custom and it has the same clear glass. Um, so it is a nice little fish tank that people love, kids love to stare at it on charters. They're like, I just want to look at the fish all day. So this kind of gives you the same features down here. And another nice feature is this big seat that opens up in the back. Come take a look at the seat. Nice big bench seat. That's really cool. That's and nice. it folds up for when you're running or it goes and down. Also on a trepid that's nice. So obviously you can have tons of rod holders and you have tons of seating. So if you go forward, there's forward seating. So much space up here. So tons of forward seating. There's seating right here, a big fold up seating back there. You also have five wells. And this console does open up to have a head inside. Similar to our model. Um, we don't use the head on our boat just because we want to keep it clean and not have to worry about pumping it. Some people like the head, we choose not to use it. Um, and just it's a really nice boat. Lots of cool features. This is super cool guys, we're actually on a Lexus motor yacht, the Lexus LY650, and it's the first of its kind, and we're it's currently at the Miami Boat Show. There's literally been a line all day just to get on and look at it. So we're here, and we're going to give you guys a little bit of a virtual tour. So right now we are up front on the bow, we got a nice big open window all this the way up like top. A car. It looks like the windshield of a car, doesn't it? Yes, I think that was the idea for Lexus too. Michael Lexus? Yes, that's Michael. He's the sales rep for this boat. He was nice enough to give us a tour. Okay, let's we'll walk around. All right, I'll, so follow, I'll follow Emily. Let's go. Follow Michael and Emily. Hey, that's a cool shirt too. Look at that art. Nice big table back here. This would be the aft deck. Welcome to the aft deck. Wow, that's fancy. <laughs> Woo! The crew quarters. Welcome to the crew quarters. You'll notice it's, it's mechanized so that, well, the crew can get lost. It's mechanized so the crew can get stuck in there. The crew goes in here? Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. They could also go into the engine room, but then you'd have to... Try not to fall on our way down. Crew quarters. We've got a shower and a bathroom back here. Let's take a look. Still a nice full-size shower. There's the head. There's your tiny little sink, just like being on below deck. There's your mirror, and then come back around. we've got the engine room right over here. Welcome. Wow, this is huge. So the engine's nice and warm in here. So you see what I'm talking about on the finish? It's very much a light. So the finishes are very much like a Lexus. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Right, like look at the seat. Yeah, I don't know if it's more like Emily's Lexus or Amanda's Lexus, but... <laughs> I don't think either of us have a Lexus, but that'd be great. <laughs> it appears we have a bedroom to our left and a bedroom to our right. Okay, go to the right first. Come down a bunch of steps. Full-sized bedroom. Ooh, nice, there's even a couch uh, in here. A, desk, a couch. There's the desk. TV, couch right here. Here we have, looks like a full queen size bed. All right, 
Emily, take us to the next room. And here's the forward bed. So I would assume this is the second bedroom, the other room was the master. This looks like it would be the guest room for those of whoever owns this boat when they have guests. Here's where the guests stay. Yes. Or the kids, you yeah. never know. True, there could be kids. I, mean, I bet you this is a bathroom right here. Could be a second bathroom or yep. second bathroom. There you guys go. Second bathroom. Normal sink right there. There we are again. Nice shower, full size shower right here. And another marine head. Or a nice head. Now we are on the Solus 345. Solus won the Boat of the Year award. And we've also worked with Solus when they did one of their very first marketing campaigns. So our pictures and videos are on their screen right now. And we're just gonna kind of show you around the boat. It's got a really cool transom and some really cool new things. Up front we have some nice seating, very comfortable. And then right behind me, we have a little bit of a lounge seat too. I like the redundancy of this one. And the one thing that differentiates Solus from other boats is the transom. See how it's not a cat, it's not a catamaran, it's a single hole. And they install this transom for more space and more fish ability. So you can literally walk all the way back here, fish, dive. I personally really like it from a diving perspective and a family boat perspective. It's great for getting in the water. It's like having a little dive platform, right? Yeah, and you can even, we'll show you on the TV. There's some video of us getting in and out with a little platform, it was cool. And um, there's the trophy. The Let's Boat of the, the Year Award. Let's go check it out. It says Solus Boats. Right here, 2019, and on the top. One more cool feature, I push up here, and I get raised. All right, whenever you're ready. Perfect for short people, you need to be able to see over the bow. The next boat we're going to look at is the Invincible. This is the 33 Open Fisherman model. Um, something neat about Invincible boats is that they're for the hardcore fishermen. It's really to the point. It's about getting there quickly and comfortably. And it's all about the fishing. Simple, nice structure, and it's just let's go fishing and catch fish. Fast, comfortable ride. So we'll show you around. Up front, as you can see, you have forward seating, which is nice, but there's still plenty of room to fight a sail or run something down if you need to real fast. Um, I'm sure you can probably customize this and not have these here and have completely walk around. It depends if you're chartering. You definitely you can customize it because over here next to us there's no forward seating. Between every rod holder, this boat has a cup holder. We have that on our boat as well and it's a great feature. Also, I just found a fish box in the front. A nice little square fish box. I personally think you could load it up with snappers or whatever you wanted to. I'm sure there are more fish boxes on this boat because it's designed for the fishermen. The console on this boat, something neat they did is you can put the acrylic glass around or you can do an eyes and glass, it's kind of a preference thing. And everything here is just really simple and clean. Nice easy buttons everywhere, you got your Garmin set up or whatever GPS system you prefer. But it's just a nice, clean, simple setup. Thanks for watching our 2020 Miami International Boat Show video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more.